Hello there everyone and welcome. My name is Melissa Armo and I am a stock swoosh. Today's lesson is going to be called Don't Worry. <laughs> okay, so don't worry about things that have not happened yet. Many traders worry and overanalyze things in their head and go over them and over them and over them. Every possible scenario of the worst case things that could happen when they trade or in a trade or before they take a trade. And I'm telling you, if you're constantly worrying about what's going to happen before it's even happened, it's really going to fail you in life. You're not going to find success. Don't worry about things that have not happened yet. Planning for the future is one thing. Worrying all the time is another. Trainers tend to worry so much. And I think, you know, people in general, you can't always plan out exactly every single event that's going to happen. It's a good idea to think about things and plan for the future, but you don't want to think negative, worrying constantly and being fearful about the worst possible thing that's going to happen. Because guess what? Then you'll never end up taking any steps forward to do the thing that you want to do, whatever that happens to be, whether it's a trade or whether it's trading or whether it's changing jobs or whether it's buying a car or home or, or any big purchase you want to make or even anything in a relationship. You will never end up taking whatever steps you need to take to get there if you're constantly worried about things that haven't happened or every possible negative outcome that could happen. So when, when you take a trade, if you come and you learn in my method and you want to trade with me, you put in something called a stop, okay? The stop is like the protection. It's like the insurance. So that if a trade fails, what's the worst thing that could possibly happen? You would lose that one amount in one trade on that day. You wouldn't lose an endless amount. For example, say you risk $1,000 and you put the stop in. How much would you lose if the trade fails? A thousand bucks. Depending on where you get hit out, could be a little bit more, but you'll get hit out. Okay, all the stocks that we trade have volume, momentum, are well-known companies in the market. So when you are looking to do something, don't worry so much about every single possible outcome that's negative. Because in doing so, in thinking that, in going over and over and over in your head, you're creating the negativity. You're creating the fearful things that you do not want to happen to actually happen. Of course, sometimes in life we have to take chances. Everybody does. I did. I do all the time. I'm doing that right now with things in my life. I've done it in the past. You can't move forward in life. You can't achieve your goals. You can't achieve success, okay, if you're not willing to take risks. Take calculated risk. That's the whole idea of putting in a stop when you take a trade, okay? And you have a plan of action to get to the next level, but thinking and worrying and constantly worrying, going over all the negative outcomes of things that could happen, or whatever you're doing with the market, whatever you're doing with trades, whatever you're doing with the next point you want to get to in life, whatever that is, the next level, financially or growth-wise, again, whether it's personal relationships or professional, if you're constantly focused on the negative, if you're always worrying, you're in a fearful mindset, a fearful mode, and that's not going to serve you well. You're going to end up creating the negative things you want and don't do that. Like, for example, when I take a trade, I never actually believe the trade will fail. I do put the stop in to protect myself, but my belief system is that the trade will work. Now, that doesn't mean that every trade I take works. Sometimes they don't. But I believe that they will when I take it. It's the same thing when I decide to do a project, a goal, or achieve anything in life, or decide to take risks in my mindset. My mindset is that I will have success, okay? And it doesn't mean that you're not going to have sometimes hiccups along the way. It means that if your mindset is focused on the positive, not the negative, and Stop focusing on worrying, worrying, worrying all the time. You're going to have a better odds and better chance of seeing success. And somehow when something comes up, you'll find a way to overcome it. When you have a bad day trading, guess what? You're going to get up tomorrow and probably have an amazing day if that's your attitude. Think about what I said today. And hopefully everyone had a good day. And I will see you tomorrow.